definitely get rich by being British. Oh, I can just pogo jump over that. Well, that was kind of silly of me. Treasure. <laughs> so it's almost like they just moved the hidden treasures around because I don't think there is one here on the moon now. I always thought that was a really cool secret, incidentally. By the way, hey guys, I'm Bryce Alpha. and welcome back to DuckTales for Masters. I'm making my way out of the ship here today, with my cool three quarters of a million in my pocket. Just making sure I didn't miss anything as I look here. And no, we didn't. We already explored over there. So, let's get out of here and go back over to uh, see our boys. Let's not keep falling out though. That. My arms are getting tired. <laughs> they would, wouldn't they, Scroogey? See if we can just bounce her hole without that guy harassing us. That'd be nice. Yeah. I didn't even get to be number one by back and doom. No, did you not? All right, see what they With got to luck, say. With luck, I managed to find all of Gizmo Duck's suit. <laughs> oh boy! Now we could blast into the treasure vault. Just a moment, Fenton. <clears throat> Gyro, I. Uh... I think I left my favorite two-dollar bill under the back seat. <laughs> Would you mind getting it for me? Sure thing, Mr. McDuck. Gee, boss, why'd you send Gyro back onto the ship? So he doesn't find out you're Gizmo Duck when you put on that suit, you dunderhead. But there are only three of us here, sir. Won't he figure it out anyway when Gizmo Duck appears and I've mysteriously vanished? I wouldn't worry about that. Gyro may be a brilliant inventor, but his deductive reasoning skills are about as good as yours. Oh! Hey! Would you just get on with it? Say your secret code word and activate that confounded contraption. Code word? Gee, I can't remember it. Oh, blather and blather, Skite! I'm useless! I mean, I'm useful to the extreme! Point me toward the offending blockade, so that I might deal justice upon it! Cut the dramatics, would you, and follow me. Mr. McDuck? Fenton? Gizmo Duck? Huh. They're gone. And all I could find was this two million dollar bill. Oh well, back under the seat it goes. Stick it in your pocket, stupid. Holy crap. This is this is amazing. We get psychotic gizmo duck firing away. If he probably doesn't take out one of my uh, my jumping spot, uh, a guy I need a boost from or something, we should be just fine. There you go. Oh dude! That one got demolished. That was great. Wait, did I see some diamond dropping? Or just, I'm not really looking for diamonds. I guess I could let him do the work here, but that would require him not to be terrible. This was always hard to get through, but uh, I'm fine waiting. Nice, you can have two in one shot. That's that's economical of him. Again. Oh! There's something really satisfying about a missile going into some dean's face and then falling apart when he does it. Alright. This is the place. Gyro's calculation said the green cheese of longevity lies just beyond this door. Step aside, citizen, whilst I blast the door asunder. Holy crap. How was that, Mr. Mc... I mean, well, the path is clear, good sir. Good work, Gizmo Duck. No? Oh, no. Glomgold again. Ah, Flinthard Glomgold. What are you doing here, you pernicious pilferer? Why, same as you, Scroogey. Trying to corner a new segment of the dairy market. <laughs> Why, you... How did you find out about the green cheese? Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> but thanks for saving me the trouble of blasting through that door on my own. I'll stop him, Mr. McDuck. Halt, evildoer! No, Gizmo Duck. I need you to help me deal with the... Uh... Beagle Boys. Bah! 
<laughs> I like how they explained away the lack of, uh, a lack of, uh, Gizmo Duck for the rest of the level. That's good, I like that. Alright, it's time to try it. No! It doesn't exist! There was some requests made to see if it was here, but no, guys. Scrooge McDuck, Moon Masturbator does not exist. I apologize to you guys. The way forward didn't put that in. It's kind of a sad day for dog racing if you look at it. This is different looking. Of course, they, I guess they have to fit in more Beagle Boys than they used to be. I wonder if you get hit by a Beagle Boy, do you lose money? I haven't really tested this, but I don't really want to test it either, the truth. I really don't want to do it. Oh, I almost tested it anyway, because I'm a dummy. A big, big dummy, as some people would say. Big dummy is what I would say back to them. True story, guys. Absolutely a true story that I'm going to go forward with as absolute truth until otherwise stated in an official statement from the general manager of Wendy's. No point in hanging around here. There is no point in hanging around here because I'm making stupid talk, conversation talk and you're like, ah, I see. See, I'm smart. And I missed him. I'm really glad they don't know how to pick up diamonds. One of the bigger boys are poor and in prison, a bunch of dummies. Um, technically that's onward and downward, you fool. You big fool, you big, big fool, man. It's all about big and everything. Speaking of big, not a bad movie. I haven't seen it until recently. It's cute. If nothing else, it's very adorable. Also, kind of got Tom Hanks started off on his route to uh, being uh, the man that he became. And this looks more like the, what the old moon era used to look like, the moon vault, as they call it here. Come on now. Whoa! Biatch. That's right. I said biatch because that's something people do, apparently. I apologize profusely for that. That really was uncalled for and unacceptable. Oh, wait. I'll probably just make that jump regular. It doesn't really matter. Let's, uh, see what's going on here. Oh, we got more treasure. Treasure! I already said that's true. Come on now. Hidden treasure? Yeah! Hidden treasure. Excellent. I probably didn't get all the hidden treasures, but that's okay. I'm going to have some replay value on this game. I get a feeling. Plus I got to unlock everything and buying and stuff. You know how it is. You know... Wait, why did I just go straight? That's true. Did you get to be number one by me hurting you pointlessly? Because I did that really well. Do you want to have a uh, little bit of treasure inside you? I'd be fine with that. No? Alright. I gotta tell you, this area is a lot easier since the Beagle Boys don't do that walking at you attack they did in the old one. That made it a lot tougher in tight quarters when they came walking at you. And if I'm not mistaken, and I often am, but in this case probably not, we're up to the boss. Must be merry. I made it here first. No, not the cheese. Anything but that. <laughs> uh oh. Oh god. Great Scott. Nice. I thought that stuff was supposed to be an anti-aging culture, not an instant growth fungus. <laughs> oh no, you don't. Oh, you get me. That sucks. Oh, now he looks mad. Okay, so... The beast just keeps coming. It's like running from the IRS. <laughs> it's like running from the IRS. Scrooge, seriously, stop tax evading, buddy. It's not cool. Yeah. Whoa. Okay, we gotta not stay up on this ledge in case it appears there. Whoa! Talk about getting, um, a rat colonic? I don't know. There was a joke in there somewhere, but I couldn't think it up, so. You have to forgive me. You coming over here? Oh my god, that was perhaps the best thing I've done in this series. That's saying something. Whee! Ah, finally it paid off my due diligence. Whoa! Whoa! Stop that. You can knock that out any time you want, seriously. There we go. 
Oh, he went the other way. Crap! Well, I'm down to my last hit, so... He's getting fast. Holy sh shoot! I didn't... Why did I not get out of the way? <laughs> not my best move. Oh! That was unfortunate. Oh god, I can't afford to take two hits before I hit him once, right? That would just be one of the dumbest things ever done. Alright. Let's just play this smarter now. Oh, I have to get at the general pattern. He, he seems to be in more in line with the other bosses we've seen recently, as opposed to the early ones. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, I disagree. That works for me. That also works for me. This will also work for me. That works for me as well. Come back. Yeah! The strategy in this fight is eerily similar to how it used to be. True story. It's not the exact same, obviously, due to, you know, the green flash coming at us, but it's more or less the same sort of, you want to use these ledges as a safe zone and attack him off of there. Whoa! Crap. Yeah! Puncture your back with a cane. Yeah, I don't think that's going to work. Man, he is fast now, though. Yikes in a bucket, man. He is really damn fast. I gotta give him his props. I do like the speed of the boss here. Oh crap! I got away with that one. There we go. Oh, I got myself trapped like an idiot and got away with it. That's uh, a good thing. There we go. Much better. That poor rat. What did it do wrong? And how is this valuable at this giant point? Giant moon rat or no giant moon rat? Nothing's going to keep this duck from that green cheese and all the green it's going to make me. <laughs> How is it going to make you money, you crazy bastard? Oh, well, whatever. <laughs> but yeah, none of the treasures have really worked out for him. It's been kind of funny. Oh, well. Let's see how we did. Probably somewhere in under four million due to the, mod the modifier, but you know, doing all right. Yeah, even though it's not longevity, it's some kind of horrible growth hormone fungus, as we've covered already. I think we're all the hidden treasures, man. Only 500 grand on the modifier. I wonder if that's based on how you die and things of that nature. And that'll put us up to, what, 20 million? Yeah, almost 21. That yeah, works for me. We did it, boys! All five treasures are mine! <laughs> uh, boys? <gasps> your vault must be Sorry pretty about secure. That, but your meddlesome nephews are a wee bit tied up at the moment. Flintheart Glomgold, you put the Beagle Boys up to this. Guilty as charged, Scroogey. I've been the world's second richest duck long enough. But these treasures will soon change that. <laughs> oh, tell your goons to release my boys. Not till you fork over that last treasure. Don't do it, Uncle Scrooge. Don't do it. Yeah, money's more important. The way I see it, MacDuck. You're not in much of a position to argue. Yeah, hi. You drive a hard bargain, Glumgold. Take it, you filthy cheat. <laughs> Flintheart Glumgold, the richest duck in the world. How does it feel to be number two, Scroogey? <laughs> Magic, Magic a dispel! dispel. Oh, <laughs> it's so rude of me to drop in unannounced. What are you doing here, Magica? Oh, quick, somebody sound the alarm! Duckworth, <laughs> Mrs. Beakley, call the Pentagon! They sell me stock and bonds. Not so fast, fools. Black-a-rooty, Uncle Scrooge. I can't move. 
Me neither. Now I know how a statue feels. Eh, greedy old fools. These treasures are far more valuable than money. And just what do you mean by that? You find secret hidden inside old painting, yes? Painting of Drake von Bloodstone, also known as Count Dracula Duck. These treasures are part of spells to stubborn him. Bah, what rubbish. You will see. With power of Dracula Duck, under my command, I will rule the world. Unless, uh, you'd rather surrender number one dime, Scrooge. Dime is much gentler way to conquer world. Will save me a great deal of trouble. Also, less risk of accidental Dracula bite. The first dime I ever made? Never. Then I will take precious nephews instead. You will bring me dime quickly enough after that. Hey, Dims is our hostages. Find your own. Quiet, pig old boy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> now I take leave. Wait, Bring they close number the door? one dime to my home on Mount Vesuvius in 24 hours, or little nephews will become Snackula for Dracula. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Sometimes I still get carried away. Sometimes? That lousy, no-good so-and-so. I stole those treasures fair and square. This is no time for bellyaching, Dongold. I've got to save those boys. Ha, forget it. That she-devil's long gone. You can't catch her now. Maybe you're right, Flinty. Uh, that leaves me no choice. How about a deal? You help me get the boys back, and you can keep the five treasures. Ha! <laughs> Without your dime, I'll become the richest duck in the world, and you'll be nothing but a shriveled up old has-been. <laughs> that dime's not worth ten cents next to the safety of my boys. Do we have an agreement? Are you joshing? It's a deal. You know what I think, McDuck? I think you've gone soft. You've let those pesky rugrats become a business liability. And I'm gonna be the richer for it. Oh, go soak your head. <laughs> Sucker. So, Glom, Golden Scrooge, friends at last. Well, maybe not. Man, oh man, stuff just got real, man. Got really real. All right, join us next time when we will head on in to Mount Vesuvius and talk to uh, Magica and see if she'll be reasonable. I'm sure she will not. Join us then, won't you?